Hello, friends. It's painting time again. Ba, ba, ba. Um, so tonight, and I say tonight because it's yeah, what's well, that? This evening. It's a quarter of six um, on a Saturday, and I am working on a painting for my sister and her husband, Roy. Um, they used to live in West Virginia, um, out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, they'll probably get me like, so don't say that. Um, I refer to it as BFE, but it was out in Lewisburg, Fairley area. Um, and the back of, it was, they had this huge old farmhouse and, um, rolling hills behind it, fields, et cetera, et cetera. And my sister always commented how much she loved the space, um, and the country and seeing the mountains and everything. So. Um, I rated her Instagram, I mean her Facebook, and found this photo that she took. Chia. And so what I'm going to do today is I am going to do a landscape painting. Now if you know me, <laughs> I don't do landscapes often or hardly at all. Mainly because bitch can't paint a tree worth nothing. Now, if you remember, um, there was a painting that I did of my grandparents um, and they were riding a bike. Um, I'll probably put the photo um, of the painting. And it was nice, it was good, I did a good job. Um, and for me to do the tree, it took a little bit because I had to step out of my comfort zone and kind of take a step back and decide on how I wanted to approach it um, in a lot of ways. I ended up painting it with my finger um, this area, I'm going to pretend like it's here. It's not here right now, but this is kind of fun. The area here that you see, the tree, um, all done with these little fingers, uh, went in and painted. I gave up on the brush. My hope is that the painting I'm going to do today and start working on, and maybe I might finish it today. Who knows? You know me. Um, this is going to be a much more, um, uh, impressionist. God, the word just left me. And I have not even had a drink of the Pinot yet. I know, I'm sure Alejandro has already noticed that there's some Pinot Grigio on my table. Uh, and y'all are probably wondering, who the hell is Alejandro? It's a friend of Renee's who watches my videos on the regular. Uh, hey, Alejandro, Lissandra, and your lady. Can't forget your lady. Um, she's sweet. I like you, lady. I haven't met Alejandro and Lissandra yet because they live in Canada. Um, and they haven't come to visit us yet, and we haven't gone there yet either. So anyway, um, I'm going to put the artwork over here, the photo, and then I'm going to get started. Uh, I want it to be impressionist. I don't want to get caught up in painting every little frickin' detail. I want it to be much looser and fun, um, which is why I think I may finish it tonight, just because you know how I paint. If I get started, I get started, and I'm done in 10 minutes. So anyway, this is the beginning. We'll see you soon. And I'm probably going to go into uh, my favorite little... Uh, mode of transport here for everything and go super fast into our time lapse. So, in a time lapse. So now, um, uh, Cabot Pinot. Um, I'm going to start painting. Uh, I'm going to do the cloud area first up here, this area. Um, and then I'll go on to the other arrows. Um, I think I need some more blue. Um, you see, I loaded up some, uh, varieties of blues and even did a little bit of a lavender. Um, and the reason I did a lavender is a lot of times, uh, like even right here, there's some atmospheric thing going on that's a little lavender. Um, and I'm playing with color. I'm going to experiment. Um, so I'm going to have fun with this. So we'll see where it goes. Um, oh, I have a visitor. Hey, Leia. How are you, Miss Leia? You're coming down to see Daddy and his painting? Yeah. Yeah. You guys are, I, they were running around up there. I could hear them. I don't know what they were doing. God hope They're, the house is still together. So I'm going to shut up, but I've loaded up some blues, some pur a little bit of purple. I'm going to work on that first, get that situated. Um, and then I'm going to go into the green. 
The last thing I'm actually gonna do is the tree, the dark part of the tree, and then I'll lay in some of the foliage of the tree and then I'll be done um, with the painting in general. So we've got a little bit of work to do. Oh, here comes Maui. Maui, you're gonna come say hello to everybody? Probably won't be on camera because you're a little shorter than Leia. Well, here we come, we're, we're making our way over. Hey, Maui, hi. Oh, you got a little bit of chemo time, hello. Okay, so I'm gonna work on that. Back to time lapse, people, bam! Okay guys, so I've laid in the background. Um, am I 100% happy? Never, you know. Um, but I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit. Um, the blue isn't quite where I want it to be. I'm looking at my visual compared to this. Something's not quite kosher with me right now. Um, but we'll see, we'll let this dry up a little bit. Um, I may just go back in with some more blue and make it work. Um, there's a lot more clouds in this photo, um, see, than what I'm doing. And really I'm doing this section here. So there's a lot more clouds there. So I don't know if I want to try and do that or, or where I'm heading with this. Um, like I said, there's a reason I don't do landscapes. I don't do them well. Um, so I'm kind of going out on a limb here. I think, What's really bothering me is probably the color of the blues. So I'm probably gonna play with that here just a second. Once again, I just said I was gonna let it rest and now I'm getting ready to go back in with blue. So anyway, um, we'll go back into time-lapse land and we'll keep going. Okay, I'm gonna let that sit for a few minutes. Thought I would give you a little chat. Um, you saw a couple brush techniques from me. Well, maybe one brush technique um, called scrumbling. Um, this is your educational moment. Um, scrumbling is when you take the brush and kind of rub it into the canvas. Um, you mostly saw that when I was doing the blue and then I did it some in the cloud area too. Um, here in a minute, I'm gonna take the camera off the pod here and give you some close-ups of the, the uh, cloud area. Um, the other thing you may have noticed was that um, somebody was using both hands. A uh, little tidbit here, I was born left-handed and uh, was switched to my right hand when I started elementary school, or a little before. Um, my dad was um, like, it's a right-handed world kid, so I learned to do a lot of stuff with my right hand. However, me, 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 um, left hand still pops up from now and again, uh, from time to time. Um, so there are things that I normally do, a right hand would normally do with their right hand, I do with my left and vice versa. So um, yes, I do paint with my left hand. Sometimes I draw and paint at the same time, or I mean paint, draw and paint. I paint with both hands at the same time or I draw with both hands at the same time. Um, there's some life drawings um, that I'll probably pop up in this space behind me here um, that are on my website that you can see um, they were done with both hands at the same time, drawing in different areas. Uh, typically, let me put my drink down, typically when I do that one hand's up here doing something and the other hand's down here so I'm doing a lot of this kind of like how I talk. 
Um, so that's how that works. Um, but I'm gonna let this sit for a few minutes. I'm actually gonna start layering in the greens uh, and everything, but before I do that, I am gonna take it off so you can kind of see up close these colors, because I see from looking at it here on screen, it's kind of like, why? Um, up close, it looks much better. Um, so we'll see how all this goes. Pray for me, people, because like I said, landscapes are not my forte. Okay, friends, and you'll see my looming shadow here in the corner, but I wanted to give you an idea of what this looks like up close. Let me see if I can do it this way. So you're gonna see, well, you're gonna see me anyway in that corner. Um, let me do this. Ooh, there's the phone shadow. But anyway, you get an idea. You start to see color. There we go, let's do it that way. So you see some blues, the big hand. Um, you see some blues, the different blues, the little bit of a lavendery purple that I worked in. Um, and like I said, this is gonna be background behind the tree limbs and such. So I'm hoping that um, I've met the happy medium with this. But anyway, just wanted you to see that. So let's move on to the next. Okay, so now I'm gonna go and do the background. Like I said, um, one of the things you're gonna notice is I'm gonna use some greens. Uh, and I'm gonna pull some ochre in here, some ochre yellow um, and such, and some um, kind of a, maybe a lighter yellow because um, I wanna play with some color. Maybe some orange, orange, ooh, orange would be good. Ow, orange. So I'm gonna work on the background and the, the grass um, and go from there. So let me load my palette with some orange and ochre. Um, there will be some blues and purples worked in for the mountains, so uh, we'll go from there. So. I just wanted to give you a heads up on what the hell I was doing. So back to time lapse, bitches. Bam! So, got a little bit of paint on my sleeve in that little video there. You probably didn't even notice except for the fact that I, I skipped the uh, canvas. Or maybe it followed me. Oh, God, I didn't think about that. Anyway, I saw this mess over here. Um, normally, this is probably TMI for a lot of people, and they're like, oh, God, he's going to share something. I do not paint with this much clothes on because I'm a mess with paint. I honestly usually do this and usually get it on my clothes. So usually, I don't wear a whole lot. Um, but for the purpose of these videos, I'm sparing you the gory details. So with that being said, um, through in this background here, I'm gonna soften this edge a little bit, scrumble it up so it's not so harsh, and keep going. So hang in there with me, people. We're only getting started. Hey, everybody. Leia's joined me. She's trying to figure out why I'm talking or who I'm talking to. Hey, Leia. Hey, baby. Which in turn means I'm talking to Leia, which means Maui's making her way down the stairs now. I think. Maybe not. You. Oh, here she comes. Um. Hello, Maui. Have you all learned yet that if one gets attention, the other one has to come get attention? Hello, baby. Hey, Mau Mau. Hi. Hi, Booger. What you doing? Okay. So, as I am looking at this, I'm going to let this sit. One of the things I've noticed is in my go by, I need to add a little white haze to this area because it's a little further back in visual. I am going to start going ahead and laying in this area of green and then start this area. Um, like I said, the last thing I'll be putting in is the tree over all this. Um, and there's some trees that are going to be here um, and some trees that figure in here too. But first I'm going to fill in these. So with that being said, I had to take a little bit of a protein bar break because I realized somebody forgot dinner. Uh, that's what happens when your husband works on Saturdays and takes the car so he can have it to drive home at night and you forget, oh crap, do we have anything in the house to eat that I really want to eat? 
So, okay, I'm gonna get back to painting and um, there you go. Okay, I have no clue what was going on with the camera. Um, as I've told you, I've got this little thing called Pivo and I had it following my face. And evidently it lost my face. So it started going ah, 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 and freaking out. So needless to say, you probably got a couple spirals in there and I might edit those out, I don't know yet. But anyway, we are currently now in this stage. Um, I played people. Let me tell you, I pulled in some purples, some oranges, some yellows, all kinds of craziness, and I'm really liking it. It's scaring me just a tiny bit. Um, yeah, I'm liking it. Um, I honestly think I'm not gonna do much else with that foreground. I don't think I am. As I've told you guys before, Mr. Springer, my guru in the art department back at Longwood College, which is now Longwood University. Um, he, he told me early on, um, and then we had more discussion about it at a different time, but about how um, I tended to overwork. I'd get to a point and not stop because I would start thinking, okay, do I need to do this? Do I need to do this? What about 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 this? and I'd get in my head. And one of the things that he said to me, as long, and it stuck with me, as long as it is coming from my brush and I'm not thinking about, do I need to go here, do I need to go here, I need to, add, you know, as long as I am letting the muse speak to me, go through me, and I'm, I'm getting hippy dippy for some people, just hang in there people. You can call it whatever you want. I'm calling it the muse today. If the, when the muse is coming through and I am working, as long as I'm not going, I don't know, I don't know, I keep working. But as soon as I start doing that guessy shit, stop. Because that's the inner voice in my head, my inner saboteur working against me. I'm going to overwork this shit. It's going to look awful. Plain and simple, no other way around it. Gonna look bad. So, I have got to the point where I really like this. It's really, um, it's very um, impressionistic kind of, um, I won't dare say like Monet's poppy field kind of feel, but it does kind of feel that way because it's kind of scrumbly and fun. Um, I am still going to lighten that space up with a little bit of white uh, here in just a moment to take it down atmospherically as well as this little blue spot that's right there that you can barely see. Next would be the tree. And just to give everybody an idea, you know, I said I started this at a quarter of six. Folks, it's a quarter after seven. There you go.
Okay, friends. So as you can see, let me switch this real quick. Okay. As you can see, God, what is my hair doing tonight? I'm sorry. Um, as you can see, I've laid in some of the um, tree and the fence post. I, I'm happy. I hope that the tree doesn't screw everything up. We'll see. I don't know. But anyway, this is where we are right now. Um, I think I promised you I was going to go in and look at this really close, but I'm going to wait till the end. Let's go wait till the end. You just have to deal with it. Just love me for who I am and be prepared to see fabulous. So um, I'm going to keep going. Um, this is only glass number two, Alejandro. Maybe I should have like a little Pinot Grigio. I <gasps> That's what I'm going to start doing. A little Pinot Grigio icon in the corner to let you know how many Pinot Grigios I've had. Ha ha! That'll be fun! Oh my God, that is such a good idea. Oh wow, see? Anyway, I'm going to get back to work. Somebody wanted to have some camera time. Hello, Leia. Yeah, to give you an idea how big this monster is. This monster, this mean old pit bull. Mean old pit bull, mean old pit bull. Woof, woof, woof. Oh, and our sister's trying to get in the act. Oh, God. Come on, Maui. Maui, come on. Come on, too. Come on, you can have your camera time, too. Okay. I like it. Okay, evidently it's potty time. But I uh, wanted to give you guys a visual. I'm, I'm, I, I can't get over it. I'm happy. So let me let these two out and uh, I'll be right back, okay? Okay. Left. Well, look. Hush. Okay, we'll be right back. So evidently, 
my audio crapped out on me on the last few little bits. But what I was saying was, there's the painting. It's wonderful. I'm happy. Hope they like it. God, what the hell's going on with my hair? Um, uh, I don't do landscapes often. I hope my sister appreciates this. Love her dearly. Um, love her um, husband, Roy. They're great people. Um, and they provided me with two wonderful little nieces. And I say little, one of them is not so, well, both of them are really not so little. Becca's in middle school. Rachel is uh, finishing college, about to get married to a wonderful guy named Spencer. And life couldn't be better for them. And I'm happy. So um, I'm hoping that this will remind them of a special place that they loved. Um, and when they need to see the mountains, they can kind of look at that and see a few. Um, however, I'm done. D-U-N, done, 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 done. That was my Christmas. That was the last thing I had to finish. Um, granted, this will have, you'll see these after Christmas just because I can't show you it before because guess what? They haven't seen them either. Um, I hope they like it. Um, Alejandro, this is class three. Mm-hmm. Notice there's still some in there. Um, I've really got to work on that Pinot Grigio graphic. That'd be really cool. So anyway, um, yeah, I'll post some pictures here in just a little bit of, or well, I say, I'll put some pictures following this video um, for you all to see, but I'm really happy with it. I'm, I'm really happy with how it turned out. Was not how I expected. Um, like I said, I'm not a landscape person. Um, so my sister better appreciate this and better hang it somewhere special because I will find out if you haven't. Talking to you, Tanya. You guys have a great day, afternoon, whatever. Please like, share, and subscribe this video. You can like it down below. That's the big thumbs up. This thumb has paint on it. But thumbs up down below. And you can subscribe as well. Um, that helps me be a little more prominent on YouTube. Um, yeah, so do, 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 do. So subscribe, everything else. Love you guys. Have a great day, evening, afternoon, morning, whatever. And until next time, take care.